If Bengaluru win 4-1, they qualify. If Calicut win, they qualify. Any final spot up for grabs. Be prepared for some knob jangling stuff. That's how Sandoval sets the tone. That's the might of the Calicut heroes and he's feeling and looking all right, isn't he? He is certainly looking all right. I mean, in the last game, it was very unsandable, but he didn't score a point in attack. It's a Rupe on the go point. Sandoval has already got one better than the previous game against the Blue Spikers. I think it's so, so crucial to get him involved early. He's a mental player, right? He needs to be a big part of the game. He has been all season, and that's why they've been successful. Ball off the block. Chance out of system. Oh! Bengaluru steal a point. Well, speaking to me, Lee, the other evening, he was so impressed with Setu and what he can bring. Not just the super server, he's come on in third super serve at crucial times in this competition. But that's a big high swing. He's got big shoes to fill with setting off on the bench. But I think it's a good call early on looking at that. Yeah, interesting call leaving Setunov on the bench. Also got Ali Reza from Iran. But Setu has been proving his worth time and time again every time he gets on court. Into the super server. Here comes your roll! He goes out. Out wide, David Lee likes it. You know what, I think Jerome's going to play with the same kind of freedom. He's not going to hold back his punches. No, uh, he's going to get a lot of the ball as we saw the other evening as well. 21 points for Jerome, but now without Hilling, interesting to see how Ukra works with the middle and to the outside in the opposite this evening. A lot of pressure on Ukra, I think. I think he's going to switch between Ashwin and Jerome Bini. That's the plan. Of course, there's Sandoval as well. So lots of options for Ukra to go to say to the super server. Ready. Have a good serve. That. Okra. Ashwin. Boom. In or out. It was in. Justin. On the line, I suppose. I think I saw Pankaj signal a little bit of a touch as well. So, good call by Bobby. Good point by Calicut. And again, it, I think it's going to be neck and neck. These two teams both are hungry for a win. Great pushback by Okra. He's almost beat the block. Absolutely just stays high. That will work early on. But I'm really interested to see the psychology. For me, Calicut just have to focus on the performance and everything else will take care of itself. So did the Torpedoes, but it's not as easy as that for the Torpedoes. In the big moments, I think they might get nervous and it's how they deal with those nerves. That is a rocket from Ibn. We spoke about Ibn, the Universal. And it's really this uh, contest between Ibn and Jerome. And, and I'd like to think the man that does better tonight will decide the fate. Well, they play very different roles because the way that Ibn plays, he gets subbed off for a large percentage of the time. So Dili likes three front court hitters with Avaluch on the front. So he might not play as much, but he's just as key as Jerome. He's going to get set a lot more, I think. Vishnu, Ibn and Pankaj in the front court. Double block. Did not work. There's always enough power on that Sandoval spike to somehow draw a point. He's done that. He's looking really dangerous, Sandoval. That man on your screen. Yeah, my question last time we saw him on court, he looked a little tired, a little injured, he didn't look himself. But if he can get firing and get dancing after his points, obviously your celebration does not make you as a player, but it goes hand in hand for him, I think. And I think the fact he's been given the captain's armband says a, says a lot. It could have gone to Ukra, it could have gone to somebody with a lot of experience, but I think that's the thing from Kishor Kumar to say, hey, go and lead, be yourself and take the team forwards. I like that as well. Confidence. Speaking of confidence, a bit too much on that from Ibn. Out the back. Yeah, the question is for Ibn tonight is holding the nerve, especially beforehand. Everything has been on Svedinov's shoulders, really. He's been the one who's been expected to score a lot of the points out of four. And then Ibn's had a bit of a free hall pass to just be aggressive. Tonight, there's a little bit more pressure on Ibn's shoulders because there is no Svedinov and a bit more pressure on Pankaj. But Pankaj was the top scorer of this team last year with 84 points. Looks off. Here comes Ibn once again, straight to Sandoval. And he couldn't bend low quickly enough to recycle that ball. Another powerful hit from uh, the number four torpedo, the man on your screen. Now I'm having a look at this again, and Middle has committed 100% with Tishnu. 
who was impressive last time out, but I don't think that he's going to be getting a big chunk of balls. So if I'm the middle of Calicut, I'm following even all day until he stops setting him. He didn't serve. It's four apiece. That's how close this match is going to be. Uh, overcooking that just a little bit. Inexperience showing. Or perhaps it's the license that David Lee has given these players. Let's go for it. Yeah, we speak about that a lot, don't we? He likes aggressive volleyball. That's what the highest level looks like. Big serving, and that means, as we say, it's a big show. It's a difficult show to be aggressive, not be scared to make mistakes. But when you fit into it, the level goes up pretty quickly. Oh! Ace serve for Jerome. Count it. That makes six. And that is an incredible serve, not only because it's an ace, but he only has five errors in his entire serving career this season. That is huge. It's huge when you think about the balance between the two teams. The Torpedoes have made 96 errors, which we think is a lot, and they're an error team, but Calicut have made 116 errors, Jerome proving to be aggressive and consistent, which is exactly why I think they're in these sorts of positions. Chance to serve, he goes heavy-handed with it. Gets Bengaluru out of system, and it pays off. Big block from Shafiq. That's how you shut the door, that was rude. That's a rude block. Very rude. Yes, it's not welcome. <laughs> the, ho the hospitality is usually so lovely here in India, but that one, door slammed. But the ball's low inside for Pankaj. Can't do anything but hammer the angle from there. And he's been Mr. Consistent all the way along, the perfect aid to Svetanov. But tonight he has to keep stepping up. Great serve. Now then, uh, are they giving them a super serve? Did that land before it went to the relief roll? Was there a pancake? We'll find out. Hang on. To me, it looks like a super serve. We'll find out on the other side of this Amul Kul technical timeout as the Caligaridos start to look dangerous. Stay tuned. Well, welcome back to Rupe Prime Volleyball League. Here is that last point. Point went the way of Calicut. The line falls there. But let's have a look at the points table. Calicut there in third, Bengaluru in fifth. They're fighting, both of them, to stay alive in the semifinals. And that's why this game is so important. Yeah, Calicut have the slightly easier ride in terms of what they need to go through. A win tonight would absolutely screw it. Bengaluru really need a win and Hyderabad uh, will go out if Bengaluru win this evening as well yes there's a few set difference things that will go through in just a moment as we're back to the action and that sets off the net and that's something that I would say at the moment isn't quite working for Bengaluru is that setting that's for Avalanche just two meters off the net been a bit inside the Pankaj at times and really there's no hiding places out there this evening Keith. Yeah, and that was a tough set, like you said, that ball's way off the net. Look, he's inside and has to jump backwards. So, a little bit lucky that Ukra didn't jump with him. But I'm surprised Ali doesn't get more playing time. He's actually at a 50% efficiency, which for an outside hitter, is really high. Yeah, I think the way that d -Lee works it is that he tries to give them both a shared amount of time, doesn't he? He's brought two substitutions on to keep three on the front court. Spedinov is on already. So, oh, and they're already making a difference. The two substitutions doing damage. Avalanche, Svetanov didn't start this evening, but they might just finish on that court. I'd like to think after that moment, these two are going to spend a lot of, lot of time on court in this match. We cannot do without these two. And that wasn't perfect, that block by any means. It wasn't beautiful, but Avalanche does a great job to get there, right? He gets there and he gets straight over and that's taken away that space that the attacker thought he had, but at the end of the day, he just didn't. And Dili was saying, when chatting to him the other evening, that sometimes he wishes he would make substitutions quicker. I think he's one of the quickest stopping coaches in this league, but he's not messed around in terms of saying, you know what, we need a bit more of a physical weapon out of four. We need Svelinov in at the moment. And if I just play off more, then this is a marathon or the sprint, there's going to be a few storms. A nervous battle for the Bengaluru Torpedoes. Calicut, relatively better placed on the points table. Bengaluru need this win, and they need that 
rapid fire. Metalin Svetanov, the Bulgarian sniper. Boom! It's Ali Raza Abaluch. Whoa! Absolutely ripped it. We got to give a bit of credit to Svetanov there as well. He's been targeted, and when he struggles in the past, Bengaloo struggles in the offense. But that was a nail, an absolutely perfect pass. And a little bit of luck there, because it was a one-on-one -on, -one on the outside, ending up in a free ball opportunity. Ali's one-on-one, -on -one, bam, cross -ball. I love the fact the middle went on the back set as well on the first time around to try and give the one-on-one. -on -one. It's perfect tactics. And it's a very good split to have Abaluch and Svedanov as a split for the setter at the moment. It could go either way. Made two click on tackle shot there. Here we go then. Ukra looking to respond. Svedanov. Abaluch once again, not in position to spike. They'll try again. Here come. Galiket with Jerome, Sukra keeps it in play, lovely rally, Jerome will try again, triple block, no! The cover reached, but couldn't do enough, Jishnu there, a touch late on that ball, giving Galiket that point now then, Galiket seems to have found their momentum right from the start, how is that for court movement? Yeah, I think it's great cover from Ukra. I think they're very much focused, they're together. It's exactly what they needed to be without Matt Hillen. We spoke about this. They're calm, and I think if the Levera is in Midham, he gets a touch on that one. Yeah, instead, it's Jishnu, the middle blocker. And again, we're not known for our defense, but I like that he was at least there. Just a little bit stabby at it, trying to get it up. So, meanwhile, Bengaluru have called for a super point, and you know what this means. This next point is worth the value of two. Confido's going all in. Dance. Converted! Abaluc! Aces it! Hammers it! The whole of Bengaluru relishes it. I think that's three points in a row out of Ali. And half of it is him being a little bit of an unknown, a bit of a wild card. Sandoval a little bit late because he's not expecting that ball to go to behind. Everyone's thinking Svetnov, Svetnov in that situation. So a good job by the setter to get in that ball. Yeah, proving himself all the time. Pankaj is taking two thirds of the court there as a passer as well. And he's just pushed Svetnov out the way and done a wonderful job of putting it perfect. Ukra, well done by Midun. Once again, it's Abaluch. It's his night tonight. For Ali Raza Abaluch, tonight's gonna be a good, good night. We've seen Ukra put that ball away so many times, and that's brilliant from Midham. He always goes over the shoulder. Same spot. They've done their homework. Midham will not let him get away with that. And Abaluch on the ten. Abaluch so confident on that Rupe contactless shot. He didn't think twice. He said, that ball's in the air, I'm going to attack it, almost like a machine. Who would have thought Ali Raza Abuluch will do what he has in the last four points? Set a piece, it's given Bengaluru a shot in the arm. A super point has been called for by Calicut. They are being chased, they're breathing down Calicut's neck. The Bengaluru torpedoes, here comes Abuluch. Dump serve, straight to Ashwin. There he comes once again. The cover is there. Abaluch, the man himself, even not in position. And an error from Calicut under the net gives Bengaluru the lead. Watch out, Calicut. The torpedoes are here. We saw this before from 13 11 up against the Kochi Blues. Fighters are 11 all, I think it was. Kishore Kumar called a super, serve, a, a super point and it didn't go their way. I don't think there was the need to really call the super point at that time because it's just put them under so much pressure and now they're behind. I, I think that's a big, big call. Well, Bengaluru will be happy with this result so far. 12-10, a great start for them. And again, if you're just joining us, here's what's happening. Here are the scenarios. If Calicut win, they qualify. If Bengaluru win, 5-0 or 4-1, they qualify. If Bengaluru win 3-2, Calicut qualify. But if Bengaluru win, Hyderabad is definitely knocked out. So that's a lot to think about, but I think these players are just out there to play. If you're a professional volleyball player, you don't think about all that, you just play. If look at the Rupee VIP box, our special guests, they look nervous as well. More nervous than the players, and why wouldn't they? Now then, if Bengaluru win 3-2, 
Yes, Calicut will qualify, but Bengaluru will not get knocked out straight away. They'll have to wait for the result of the Mumbai Kochi game. So it's all interlinked. It's all a bit of a maze. Tadawal has been blocked. Still in play. Ibn. Here he comes. Ali Raza with the first touch. Nidun with the set. Here comes Avaluch. What do I say about that man? He wants to be the star of the show tonight. Mr. Ali Raza. Medinov, uh, we've seen him go away from the body in that situation so many times. And now he just changes the angle of the attack a little bit higher to the line. We know there's a mismatch over there. Ukra is still on the foot on the front court too, so he can stay away from Sandoval. He's been brilliant. There was a lot of grit in that play, wasn't there? There's belief on the side of Bengaluru. Every single player covering, recycling, putting up a good ball. I'm impressed. And I'm seeing Ali Raza Aluch everywhere. Maybe I'm <laughs> yeah. at the Calico Heroes. Got that name wrong. Sorry about that. Here comes Jerome. He's had enough. You don't say it all right. I've graded enough. Here I come. And in the replay, you will see just how he takes off. When you set him well, invariably, he delivers just like that. He's been more successful from that backcourt attack than he has been on the front this season. But now he is on the front, which is actually going to do wonders for their blocking over the next three rotations. He, in this matchup, pink against the Pankaj, is now on the front. putting everybody's hearts in their throats as he watched and waited as that one drifts out. He's been brilliant, isn't he, Pat Cash, the whole way through this competition. But I'm sure in his pre-match address to the team, he leads, set some characteristics that he would like to see tonight, and he's getting every single one of them. Well, set point, and look who's uh, back to serve it, the super server, Setu. We've seen and hammered his serve. He goes again, an overpass. Ukra managed to salvage the situation. There we go. Ibn. Oh, they keep it in play. Should they have? Was that a wipe? Double block. What a joust. Oh, Bengaluru have the first set. The Calicut heroes have been stunned. At one stage, they were in the driver's seat, leading by three points at 10-7. And the torpedoes have stormed their way back. They've snatched the bus set. Calicut, wake up. The torpedoes are in the mood. What an incredible finish. That was picture perfect. I mean, I'm looking at the belief. Honestly, every single time any player from Bengaluru is touching the ball, they have fire in their eyes. Quick substitutions from David Lee. Worked magic. Sweden off off the bench is making a real difference as is Abaluch, it's going to be interesting. There's still a lot of work to do, but it's 1-0 to the Bengaluru Torpedoes. It's time for us to take a very short break. Well, it's an evening where David Lee would have asked the Bengaluru Torpedoes for certain characteristics. Attacking would be one of them. Successful spikes, eight to five, Prove that they're following the orders and have a look at the unforced errors. They are matched at the moment. You know where to find all of the stats, www.volleyballworld.com. And if you head over to those stats, you'll see something interesting. I saw Ukra miss his serve just a minute ago. He has zero aces and 13 misses this league. Maybe take a little bit off it. Maybe just force your team to play because you can't give him three points if you're not getting any aces to go with it. But we're back. Set number two, Bengaluru have to serve. If the Blackhawks are there, but they're watching, how worried are you guys? Here comes Jerome. Bidun. Boom! The block! Blockbuster block! Ashwin and Sandoval combined to send that spike back, attacking where it came from. And this will be what the heroes need more than anything else is Sandoval to really come to the party. His blocking stats improving throughout the competition. Gets out nicely, drops her hands inside and Bosch 
see you later. A very good form there out of Sandoval. Again, he's going to be key. He needs to get firing. He needs to get his confidence up. Back to serve. Because the local dumpling hasn't uh, worked tonight so far. Someday maybe. Yeah, yes, down the line. It worked. Was there a wipe? I suppose there was. I think Sandoval got a little touch. If not, Jerome might want to review it. Sandoval wants to review. He is the, the designated captain. He's looking at the coach. Asking Kishore Kumar if they should. Now then, complete to the first rep. If that doesn't work, he'll go for the review. Who beats too late? Four seconds have gone. Too late now. No review. They have time on their hands and they don't want to waste it on an evening like this, I would say. Even if they're right, it's probably not worth the risk. I think that's in. I think that's in too. I think in their little heart of hearts, they knew it was in. And you're right, you don't want to challenge at 1-1. You want to wait until it's set point, until your things are really on the line. And Sandoval wasn't even watching there. He was a, he had to turn around and see it. I think Bobby pointed at Sandoval. Okra sets it for Sandoval, he's been blocked! Oh, Jishnu! And there's that man to record with as well. We haven't spoken about him, but now we will. He scores us too. Well, he was really impressive when he got a chance to play the other night. And I think the problem with this for Sandoval, that ball's so low, every middle spin in this position where he's basically just fed to the Lions. Dishnu is committing with him and taking all of his angles. I saw that on the opening day against the Mumbai Meteors in that first set. They really struggled, but since then, it's got better this time. High to the outside, and there's no problem with that man on the front court, Jerome. The question is, how much gas has he got in the tank this evening? Because I think it's going to be uh, a question for him whether he can carry the load of uh, the Canucket performance. Great swing, looking for hands, and he gets them not strong enough in the block of even, and Jerome packs another punch. Oh, then. Calicut was stunned during that first set. Got to see the comeback of Svetanov uh, and Ali Raza Abaluj. One on one. Dustin trying to avoid that uh, one man block. He ended up over hitting it. Just uh, a touch of inexperience there, I suppose, King. Yeah, it could be. But again, David Lee will be telling his players, just like Bulletin was telling his team last night. Don't swing down, don't swing into the block. Try and grab that ball high, try and go off the hand, look for deep corners. So it's out, but it's not a bad swing. Also, Ibn has shown that he can go down the line as well, so why not? So they come once again, blocked once, block, ball recycled. Pankaj, the captain, Ukra with the cover. Jerome lines himself up in front of a triple block. Ukra once again for Sandoval! He threads the needle. A stitch in time. Works just fine. We're rhyming now, are we? <laughs> Sandoval. Coming an opposite hitter there for just a second. Let's have a look at that again. Ukra pushing it back. I'm not sure if that was a slide ball or it was meant to be an outside or an opposite swing. But again, we know Kishore Kumar loves getting creative with the middle. It's low and inside, so there's only one way it was going. Luckily, the middle was uh, slightly late. I wonder what's uh, going through this man's head, because Padili at the moment, he's gone back to uh, very much a starting six from the first set, knowing that he's using his substitutes very, very wisely this evening. Great cover, excellent defensive work. Bengaluru are not all about offense. Ukra sets it for who? For Jerome! You know what? This is very, very intelligent setting for Mukra. He took a quick glance at who was behind him. He had two options, Sandoval and Jerome. And he goes to Jerome, it worked. Double threat for Bengaluru. No chance of uh, saving yourself on that occasion. Yeah, not sure how much of that was planned and how much just happened as Sandoval went behind him, but you're exactly right, overloading that area, but making and forcing the blockers to drop one and then the other. In fact, Jishnu almost completely out of the picture. Where will the next attack come from is a question that Ben Uru will have to answer on every point. Five to do Calicut. Exactly how they started the first set. They were uh, on song really at the start of the first set and then Ben Uru stomped back. Thanks to Ali Raza, Abaluj and uh, Svetlin Svetunov. Now Abaluj will come back. A 
substitution that is being made for Bengaluru. Yes, the call goes straight into the front court to replace the setter to keep three front court options. But I think even at the moment, you wanted a comparison that he should the start of the evening. I think he's a little bit nervous at the moment in the arm. I think if you have a look at his reactions all the time, hasn't quite got as much experience as Jerome in that spot on the right side spike. Once again, when Ukra Jerome combine, Calicut smile. That's so nicely done by Ukra. I don't think we realize sitting at home how difficult it is to get that ball in one handed push perfectly. It's high, it's wide, and that's not with two hands. That's not a set. That's just a push with his fingers. Knowing Ukra and watching this league for a long time, I would say that's something he practices regularly. And why not? Wow, big swing. Pankaj back on the money. 84 points last season in this league, but he hasn't had as much of the ball this year. But he's got a one-on-one -on -one situation, and that man there just never lets you down. He's going to be a guiding light for this team. Rupe contact the shot, snaps all back into the angle. Yeah, and just as we're giving credit to Ukra, center of Bengaluru is doing fantastic work as well, setting up a one-on-one -on -one there for this outside hitter. Really high ball toss. What a rocket of a serve, Ukra with the second. And the third, oh, well done, Libro. Midun's been in the quick nick, a uh, double pancake. Too many cooks. Boil the broth and the pancake. This here is a Deleeism, I think, because at the very start of this league, this Rupe Prime Volleyball League, we wouldn't have seen a libero take up such a good position on the sharp angle. We're not going to get another chance to see it. I don't think, but the dig was on another level from Midhood back there, and that's what brought the point to the torpedoes. Libros, the answer heroes of this great sport. Absolutely. He was uh, on the edge of a three man block on a very sharp angle, but it's perfect. Oh, and now the torpedoes. It's deja vu. Exactly the same as the opening set. The skipper strikes back. That is a powerful punch from Pankaj Sharma. Pankaj showing a little bit of grit. Man, that's a great serve. Right down that channel between the two players, he's forcing them to make decisions. This is a heavy, hard-driven ball, and it's right to the right spot between two players. That would have really hurt Ashwin. He that which it went. But you just need big characters who aren't nervous in these situations, who want to push the opposition on nights like these, and Pankaj is delivering in every area. Jerome always does. That's how you respond. Oh. <laughs> this isn't a volleyball match, this is war right now. Yeah, I, I, I don't like war analogies, but I know what you're trying to say. This is uh, breathtaking. The gladiators down there. If you watch afterwards, Ali, patting his chest saying my bad because he did a good job of closing that. that when he knew that that ball was going there and he had a three-man block earlier on in the former set this time he might have liked to do the same thing he knew that the setter was off the net a three-man block would have been a stuff both teams ruthless it's a fight to the semi-finals Ali Raza easy pickings just deposits it nicely well, for people like Ali Raza, the banks, the banks are open on a Tuesday evening. This is, <laughs> the banks are open, but this is incredibly smart. The SNC coach told me this morning, they had a few tricks up their sleeve to try the torpedo. And having spreading off an avalanche come on, not play the whole way through the game, they're really making the most of the rules and the little wrinkles in this game, sorry, was the word I was looking for, using all their substitutes that they can to maximize offense. Well, 8-7, serving the net, but it's a very close game. Panica Heroes lead by one, but we've seen that before in the first set. Could the same happen in set number two? You'll have to find out after the break. <laughs> Well, 
Welcome back to the Rupe Prime Volleyball League. Here's a look at the top spikers in the league. Guru, we know, hit that 100-point mark a few nights ago. Jerome is right behind him with 69. A couple of players from a couple other teams, but also Bengaluru player. Yeah, I mean, there's the top five that blockers. Uh, Ashwell Roy leading the way. Another fabulous evening last night for Ashwell. It was a great evening for the Thunderbolts as they managed to uh, get some of the youngsters into the team. This one has all the twists and the tells of an absolute classic here. Something has to give in the second set between Bengaluru Torpedoes and the Calicut Heroes. It's a serve in the net. So two serves in a row. Not the end of the world for anyone but maybe some nerves coming in for that man and his team. Now, during the break, Louis gave us an insight into what Calicut needs to do or, or not do. Louis, share it with our audience. I just think the super points are a strategy in themselves. So you have to call your super points when you're not risking as much for you as the opposition. And I think just that super point really took the set away from Calicut in the last set, as opposed to winning it for them if they would have won it, if that makes sense. You can't compromise your own team's success by losing it. Jerome is the, is the one man who can pull them out of uh, this hole now. I thought on this occasion he was a touch late on the spike, but look at how well he adjusts his angle and just goes for that big booming spike straight to Svetnov that draws the edge. 9-8 to Calicut. Well, sometimes when he looks late, it's because up in the air he's hanging, he's watching the ball, and he's timing it perfectly. That In that occasion, he's going for that outside arm of Svetanov, and it works. And the more I drift as a spiker, and the more that I let that ball travel across me, the more the block is going to drift with me as well and be later. Here comes Svetanov, doesn't need to do much, not over hitting it. Now there's something about these intelligent attackers, they don't always go boom boom. You know, it's just how much spice to add into a spike like that. Look at him, didn't overhit it. And the thing is, they're not overusing Svetnov at all in this situation. We've seen tournaments, or I should say games, throughout this tournament where he's been the go-to player, but now he's just one of many weapons, and that's why he can have those open spaces. And I think the reason why that is, is to take the pressure off of him in the past. We've seen him get pressurized the whole tournament in service receive, and now he's uh, not having to soak that up. Chance now. Ukra sets it. For who? Jerome, once again. That's for half a dozen points, back to back, for Jerome Benit. He's owned this set, really. Yeah, he absolutely has. But that's what your right side spiker does in this game. Your opposite man is there as an outlet, someone to give the ball to who's going to be consistent, and he has been so consistent. This little uh, match between Jerome and Pankaj is going to be delightful. Cooper on the serve again. He... Oh, nice through the middle, kept alive. So, the service tactic is very similar. They're serving Pankaj, who's a front-court spiker, to try and put him under pressure. That's where we've seen Svetanov be put under pressure and pass off the net more fast in a lot of games this season. Pankaj is really holding his nerve the past nicely. Let's have another look at this one, though. And it's a lift that's been called. Yeah. If the ball rests in the palm and it's pushed up, you'll get called for a lift. So Sandoval's arguing that that contact is hand with one contact, but what you can see from the slow-mo, it kind of rolls off his palm. Kukra, shot set, well done. Sandoval, make it look so easy. It isn't. It looks so easy when they do it. These are superhuman skills. I love that the center just went immediately to Sandoval. You can see it in his eyes when he needs to be set. He needs to get in the game after they, what he feels was a stolen point. If he could run Sandoval and Jerome one after the other and keep mixing it up, they have a real good chance here. And then when they do go to the outside, it's a one-on-one -on -one all day, all night for the rest of the competition. Now, who knows, we might be watching a dress rehearsal of one of the two semi-finals, guys. Who knows, it's possible. Either the semis or the finals. Please don't ask me to predict anything <laughs> in this league. The one thing that we've realized is that you cannot predict Prime Volleyball League. Group A Prime Volleyball League. Yes, the service there is all. And you can just feel feel it, can't you? The pressure. 
thousand. Just what Louis Lett was talking about. Kishore Kumar, the coach of the Calicut Heroes, has called for a super point. Will it work? Will it backfire? Bengaluru to serve. Score will be 13-11 or 11-13. Ibin gets set to serve. No ball to goal! Bengaluru! Once again, check and mate. Straight to Prabha. All super points have been won by the Torpedoes. And with every such moment, Hyderabad's heart will sink. And if there's one man that needed this, it was even. He's been a little bit quiet. But come of the moment, come of the man here. Look at Dee Lee. Look how much it means to him. Even only three aces this whole season. And he holds out until right at business time to get two points on the board. We're now two points away from Bengaluru taking this set. Great job, Bill. Now to Okra. Here comes Jerome. Not able to penetrate the defense this time. Pipe attack, it worked! Three set points to go, 2 0 up. How does this feel, Blackhawks? But this is the Dealey way that we saw earlier on in the competition. But they were making too many errors. Aggressive from the baseline, aggressive on the pipe. They're really contributing well. Their philosophy is the same fast, aggressive, group A, contact the shot. Of course it is. But this is them really putting it on now. Sethu, we haven't seen barely any of him in action other than serving. And today, he has turned it on. You have to give so much credit to D. Lee here and the way that he's set up. He's brought Setu in to pass and he's got Svedanov on the front court to spike. You know, the body language of these two teams, Bengaluru looks so much more pumped up. Calicut, I suppose, are looking slightly worried and uh, look at that. The smile on David Lee's face, the way he celebrated that magical serve from Ibn could be one of the NFTs for you. You can buy it on treasureclub.io. You can also make for great social media moments as well. Stories on Chat Chat, Moj and Yo-Yo TV. Bengaluru have come here with so much intent and intensity. That's what you expect from the Torpedoes after that uh, depressing, heartbreaking loss against the Blackhawks Hyderabad. Three set points to go 2-0 up. Dance. No, they have it! The Torpedoes go 2-0 up. They are one step closer to the semi-finals of season two. The question they've asked the Calgary Heroes is, what have you got now? This is genius for Dee Lee because he's using everybody to their strength. Even serving, Setu passing and serving. Vettinov's coming on just to spike. Pankaj is getting a lot of the ball. Avaluch is coming on just to spike. He's got this absolutely right on a huge evening and no wonder they're playing so well. And we've talked all season about how they've been aggressive, but they had way too many errors coming through in the last couple of, or the first few matches, I should say, of this season. But now, that aggressive mentality is really paying off because those errors have turned into points. Big Shell, and they're starting to fit in to the Big Shell set from David Lee. It's 2-0 to the Bengaluru Torpedoes. 15-11, 15-11 time for a very quick break. Well, the Bengaluru Torpedoes take a 2-0 lead against the Calicut Heroes side. Torpedoes desperate for a win. Successful spikes now on the side of the Heroes. But have a look at the on-force errors. On an evening like this evening, David Lee would have asked for aggression and confidence and heart and spirit. And he is getting absolutely everything out of his team. Get the exclusive stats of the Rupe Prime Volleyball League on www.volleyballworld.com. And that's where I've been looking. Calicut have really been spreading the offense only between Jerome and Sandoval. Nine and five points for them. Bengaluru, much better job at spreading it out. They're using Pankaj, they're using even Ali's been getting in there, even Sethu on the attack. So I think that's making a huge difference for Bengaluru right now. Nicely done there by Ibn. He likes attacking from that zone four, the number four. That's his natural angle, isn't it? It is, but it's also a different even. Yes, Dealey. He's settling in. Dealey with the head nod. I love it. Beaming like a bulb, like an 800 watt bulb. David Lee, the admiral. But I think, I think he's bobbing because even 
was a little bit unsure in the last set. We said he doesn't look so confident, but he goes back and serves like that. He knows now that his team are cooking. Deku, a super server on your screen. Can he come up? The magical serve. Not bad at all. Here comes Jerome. Still in play. Well done, Setu. Pankaj. Overhits. Oh! Jerome made a mess of it. Why did he have to touch that? It was going out, wasn't it? Or was that a wipe off the block? From the look of it, he looked at Ukra ahead of him. And it looked as if there might have been a touch, or at least between them, they communicated a touch. But great work. Yep, there's that touch by the hand. But again, that offensive play that Bengaluru are playing right now, from way off the net, Beshak is getting him a great ball. I think Calicut have been stunned. They didn't expect Bengaluru to come so hard at them. Absolutely hard, but also they're playing everybody to their strengths. Pankaj is the only player really staying on at the moment with the middles. Then they're keeping Setu on the backcourt to pass instead of Svetanov, because Svetanov has been in danger with his pass the whole competition. And Svetanov is coming on for the front court. Then they're, they're letting Ibn serve as well, bringing him off when he's on the back court and bringing Abeluch on. There's a lot of rotating cards, but his being successful is genius at the moment. By Shakta Pankaj, Sandoval's block, lands outside, gives Bengaluru another point. There's something about Bengaluru that tells us uh, that they are uh, in the zone tonight. Maybe it's the conversation that David Lee had with them. They made a purple patch quite literally as well. Yeah, I think Bengaluru, if you look at any single player right now, Pankaj doing a great job of holding his own, but look in their eyes and tell me that they are not absolutely hungry for this. When I look at Calicut, there's a little bit of lethargic nature between the players. Jerome, the only one that I can see that's really firing up. The yeah, has been a bit hot and cold as well. And now then, Jerome, for a change, gets, gets the point off that spike. There's not enough on that block. A substitution will be made. Bidun comes back on court for the Bengaluru torpedoes. Big swing from Jerome going off the middle. Knows that the middle is a little bit slow getting out because of the good work from the pass and the middle. Now, something that I've noticed since they beat the Thunderbolts in their third game, we haven't seen a proper Calicut Heroes performance since then. And they celebrated so hard there. And a, a big, big statement to the league, but since then they haven't hit the same levels. Uh, for, for the uninitiated, what happened there? Why was that point given to Calicut? I'll tell you why. You'll see that in the replay. You're not allowed to hit into the antenna, the red and white stick that you see. Take a look at that. Yeah, he's trying to thread the needle, as you said, down between the outside hand of the blocker and that antenna. He's going for that line, but just a little bit too much on it. Your piece in the third set. Calicut have to win this set. Stay alive in this match. Shot set. Oh! Bizarre trajectory to that ball. It went like a parabola. Absolutely, did, but I think Okie okay, will be better at, at explaining this than me. It's crucial for the context of the game to keep using the middle anyway, especially when you've got good outsides. Yeah, and I don't hate that swing as much as it might look like. It's deep, so he's not. He knows he's got Sandoval in front of him. He's not trying to get stuffed right back. At least he's aiming deep corner. By Shaq sets it for the captain, and what a bullet spike that was! That is, as Ravi Shastri would say, a trace bullet. <laughs> Certainly was. And Pankaj has scored three in a row now, but this is due to the work of Jishnu as well. He hit the last one, he held Sandoval for just a moment here, and then Sandoval's a little bit late getting out. Rufe contact the shot. It must be pretty good from Pankaj. Yeah, he sees the space, he knows what he has, and that's the difference between a good player and a great player. They're not just swinging blindly. He's not waiting to see if he's going to be blocked. He's looking for the space before his arm even moves. Paid to Ashwin, Ukra sets it for Jerome. Double block was there. Hankaj and Jishnu combine to deny Jerome another point. If you can blunt the threat of the Jerome spike, you will reduce Calicut's threat by half. That's what I was talking about just a minute ago. Sandoval and Jerome are really the only two that are putting points on the board for Calicut. So the blockers of Bengaluru can know that. They can just focus in, dial in on two players. Especially when the balls off the net are not perfect. They, they can give up really on Sandoval and double up like we saw there. And also Ukra has a few tells on him as well where they can see, see where he's going to go before he goes there. I'm happy. 
having a look at the stats. And for Calicut, the only two players scoring, as we talked about, but the other two, Ashwin has one, Shafiq has one, but Shafiq just coming back on into the front row. But Ashwin, we haven't seen in a while. Yeah, I think Ukra, we haven't seen him feed the outside as much as we have done uh, for large portions of this league. You know, Ibn just served it out, went off court, got a pat on the back from David Lee. That's, that's his style. He backs his players to go big. Sandoval will try the same as well, hits it into the net. Another point to the torpedoes to go up by a point in this third set. As Swindler comes back on to add, add a little more edge to the offense of the torpedoes. I just have to say, Sandoval, another error out of him. He's got four aces in this league. This team now has five errors, but he has the most errors in serve of the entire league at 22. I wonder at what point he just goes back and puts the ball in. David Lee isn't his coach, so I should tell you. Shots and it did not work. You go to Jerome, we'll stop you. You go to the number 14, Shafiq will stop you. We'll stop you regardless. This is really smart. They've done their homework. Pankaj is serving to start with is on another level, but I think you can get a bit of a tell out of uh, Ukra here. He leaves the middle, he sets it really late, and I think they can start committing on what they see. He gives Abel up and he just goes for the middle because of Ukra. Yeah, you're exactly right. Nobody's paying attention to Abel on the outside. Ali is doing a great job of committing there. The top straight at the Libro. Here they come, Jerome! Somehow they managed to recycle the ball. Oh, no, 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 no. Did not work. Ali Raza Abaluch just couldn't have retrieved that ball. And it's uh, never the piece, I suppose. No, it's 7 6 to Bengaluru. The service pressure from Pankaj. I'm going to throw it out there. He's not been the top scorer, I don't think. But he has been instrumental in the balance of this game. That's a sharp one. Great touch. I'm wondering if it might have hit something. I think it must have. It looked like it changed direction just a little bit. That, if the ball hits anything outside of the net, it's out of bounds. Made to Svetlov. Aisha keeps it in play. Here comes Svetlov. Late call. No. Svetlov waited just a wee bit longer than he should have to go for that third ball. It wasn't to be. The blockers were there and no cover. So, uh, yeah, nothing went right, but a great serve from Jerome that enabled Calicut to win that point. He had to wait because they were so out of system. He didn't have a powerful angle and the ball was so tight. And because it's tight, you can't swing. So that's when you need your guys covering around him very, very close to him. Got to give credit, though, again, Jerome, one of the best servers in the league, certainly of this team. He's going to have all the green light to go for it. Got himself in the foot there, allowing Bengaluru to take an 8-7 lead. Not happy, Jerome, and he knows the responsibility on his shoulders. Bengaluru know what's coming at them at all times. After going two sets to love up, Bengaluru are one point ahead. Time for an Amul Cool technical timeout. Well, these are the games that the players train so hard for. Why? Because if uh, Calicut win, they qualify and the Torpedoes are out. That's looking unlikely at this moment. But if the Torpedoes win 5-0, 4-1, they qualify. And uh, if the Torpedoes win 3-2, Calicut qualify. Hyderabad are watching this closely, knowing very well that they are out if the Torpedoes win this match 4-1. That's how close this is. I may, I may be getting a bit too far ahead of myself, but 5-0 looks like a possibility oh. as well, unless Calicut wake up. You need to wake up now. This is the set. Ukra for Abil. And he's uh, made his presence felt straight away. Abil, as we all know, short man, big ability, great arm swing as well, and he generates so much power. Big hug from Jerome as well. That's the first point on the board for Abil takes advantage of that height. It's kind of a mismatch there in the block. Yeah, almost the small guys. It's quite tough for the big guys to get over that one at times when he's so fast and hitting up and trying to go around the block. Someday, 
Ricky Michael will give us a little tutorial on how it is for tall blockers when they're up against a short spiker. <laughs> Just got to be disciplined. Got to go straight over, close to the net as possible. Don't leave any space. I feel that's the problem that just happened there for Calica Abby, for Ali, excuse me, sneaking it through because watch the arms of the blocker. There's just that little bit of space between him and the net, and that's exactly where the ball falls. The heroes are going after Svetanov in the serve. The pass has come off a little bit. Svetanov's going to have to keep getting his pass in a little bit tighter than what we saw there. Here comes one of the stars of the night, Ali Raza Abaluch. Such an intelligent player, Calicut under the pump slightly, Jerome! Goes straight to Ali Raza, Bengaluru recycle the ball, here comes Svetanov, almost over hit it, a big rally building up, and that's Justin, or is it? No, it isn't! Oh, just outside! That's a huge call by Bobby from where we're sitting, that could have been on the line, I wonder if we'll see a review. I don't know if we will, I think that ball's out. What I like there is that we've seen this situation, we're not going to get to see Svetanov swing. That ball is out. But Svetanov swing, we've seen him hammer so hard on those balls and get locked out. Then he just added pressure. He went high into position one. In turn, built through the rally, put the pressure on Ashwin. He made the mistake. Game of fine margins, just outside that spike from Ashwin. Giving Bengaluru a two-point lead. They are five points away from this spring. Their fourth win. Help them go through. Oh, on the run. A, a slightly casual. And I saw a nod of disapproval from Key Michael saying, no, no, that's not how you do it. Oh. Tell us why, Key. <laughs> well, mainly you want to get to go over the net. That's the first thing that went wrong. But I, I'm not sure if that set was a little bit low for him. He's trying to catch up to it. In the women's game, this fast ball behind is really common but the problem is here the attacker has to be there before the ball you almost want to be waiting for the ball to just feed into your wheelhouse and he's chasing it in this situation and it's a little bit low and that combination just leads to that straight into the net so things not looking good for Gallagher at the moment well there are the emerging player norm nominees sorry you have to be under 25 and never have played for India Sanujan Shetty not playing today because of an ankle injury. Ibn is there as well. Jishnu and Vaishak as well. And Ashwin. There you go. All five playing here this evening. Midhun to me is having a marvellous game. Pankaj has been so solid and consistent throughout. And that allows the more aggressive players to really come to the party like we've seen. This is a proper performance so far from the Torpedoes. And if I was the Thunderbolts, I would be looking over my shoulder right now. If I was the defenders, I would be as well. And if I was the Blackhawks either about, I'd be hoping and praying Bengaluru don't get the four points they need for this third set. If Bengaluru win this third set, Hyderabad will be out. And they're hoping for Jerome to bail them out, Midun. Vetanov! Wait for Bobby. Bobby reckons it's Calicut's point. It is 11-9, nervous moments. For both teams, and I suppose Bengaluru want to review. Uh, it's a good review. I think it's a good. And call. have a look. Have a look at that man's face. He looks a little bit unsure now. He knows that review is coming. That the look of guilt. I would not know what that look looked like. <laughs> How about you? I think I think he's guilty. I, I think he's guilty as sin. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. And the heartbeat. Uh, not even close, fellas. Wait, hang on. Maybe. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Yep. there you go, finger. middle finger. Oh. And that's the beautiful thing for a referee. If you haven't got a review, you make a decision and then you look straight at the party's face. Take a look at everything. Take a look at Bobby's face. Seeing it, it would have just whisked fast. But the ball speed is so fast, isn't it? And yep. Svedinov doesn't hold back, does he? I think there's a feather touch. There I is. think so too, and I think that's this game over. This okay. could be the biggest decision in this entire league in terms of what teams are going to be in the semi-finals. If this goes Bengaluru's way, it's almost lights out for Calicut. Bengaluru haven't had too much luck with reviews. But it's lights out for Hyderabad <laughs> for sure if this goes. It's unfortunate. Yep, a closer angle, yep. magnified. Surely there there's a touch. I reckon there's a touch. Let's get a bit closer. 
Can we zoom in even closer? Can we get all the pixels? We could sit on the net if you like. Yeah, exactly. Man, I think they have to be so sure though, because as you said, there have been a couple of calls that have been a little bit squiffy so far, that have been make or break, and they've not gone Bengaluru's way. So at the very least, this one should. Green or red? Spence. From green. Uh, green. Pretty successful. Green. Is it? It's I'm gotta a... be green. It's gotta be oh. green. What is it? Oh! This, wow! Oh, uh, that's not the first time Hyderabad, something similar happened, didn't it? against oh, Lee wow. and his, uh, his men. That one was, that was really, really close though. All of us got it wrong. That was really, really close. You've got to give give that to the TV ref. It was so close. Three of us thought it was successful, but however, our, our vote doesn't count. But only adding a bit of chatter to the action that's on court. Finn doesn't look nervous at all. One of the co-owners of the Bengaluru Torpedoes. 11-9 it is. Bengaluru have to forget about that review. Vaishak sets it, boom! They will get this one for sure. No need to review that at all. 12-9, three points away. And they smartly didn't choose to have a super point there because they didn't want to give Calicut the chance to close the gap. Correct, I think that's the difference between uh, the two coaches, but at the same time, what I like is that last touch was so faint that the Bengaluru Torpedoes trusted the decision either way, whatever it was, so it didn't affect them psychologically for the next point. What Bengaluru have done very well tonight is uh, completely blunt and negate the threat of uh, Jerome Beneath. And once again, Sandoval keeps it in play, chance for Bengaluru. Vidun sets it for the captain, Pankaj Sharma. It acres of open space behind a three-meter line. It wasn't to be 12-10. Is there a twist in the tail? I think it depends because if they stay aggressive like they are now, I think they'll be fine. Two-point lead and a bit windy arm swing and Ukra gets out the way of it. Ukra, you cheeky I know what's dog. Coming. I know your line for Ukra, Manish. Kishore Kumar is going to stay miles away from that super point paddle. He hasn't called for it yet. If he does, well, he, has, he hasn't, sir. It's too late now. Ukra to Setu. Good looking set. All will stay in play. The blocks have done enough. Ukra once again for Jerome. If only they had called for a super point, the scores would have been level. It's 12-11, nevertheless. This is interesting now because Pankaj is on the front court and I think they're a little bit light considering Avaluch is fed off at these moments. These are the big, big moments for Bengaluru. Can they stay aggressive? Can they stay disciplined in their actions? What a deal. Well, Calicut's going to keep feeding Jerome, that's for sure. He has been almost unstoppable. Must have to do something intelligent. Comes him in. He knew it. Ukra knew where the ball was going to go. It's almost like he's telling the ball the path it is supposed to follow. This is a game of chess scores level 12 apiece in the third set. What are Hyderabad thinking right now? And unfortunately, over the past five minutes or so, the pass has got a little bit more off the net, it's got a little bit more safe, and in turn it's forced the setter's hands and got the blockers back into the game. Well, they found a catalyst in Ukra Pandyan, who has the ball in his hands right now. All set to serve, the former India captain, one of the finest names in Indian volleyball. Chance now to do something different. Here comes Pankaj. There is cover. Ukra covers oh. it. Sandoval plus the Libro. No reaction from Bobby. Midun, by Shark. Here comes Pankaj. Still in play. Where is this going? Who's going to get into the lead? It will be Bengaluru. Oh, Jerome, you hit it outside. The pressure of the third set. Jerome can't believe it. He's been almost flawless all night long, and they keep on beating him. You've got to expect at least one error now and then. I would just like one of the setters to go somewhere else but the outside. It's getting into a bit of a safety fest, feeding the outside. We haven't seen even, we haven't seen the middles, and in these moments, you've got to be brave. Oji, one point lead for Bengaluru in the third set. Ukra for Sandoval. Tried something new, Ukra, didn't work. He'll try again. Sandoval for Ashwin. Somehow manages to sneak a point. I don't think he intended to score a point like that, but he'll take it regardless. Sapir on his feet, one of the owners of the Calicut Heroes. 
And I think the blockers were expecting exactly like you said, Louis, feed Sandoval in that moment. It wasn't perfect, the connection wasn't there, but then the chance, and against the two-man block, the blockers are turning around going, that's the only place he could hit. Look at his arm, look at his grit. Nice shot. Nicely set. Oh, straight Washman. Bidun, he'll try again. He'll come Bengaluru once again. Same route. What a block! That is a delicious denial from Sandoval. Calicut now have a set point. The Blackhawks breathe a little bit better. I feel sorry for Pang Tag because he's doing everything right. He's firing up the second time. He slows down. Sandoval's out there. That's how predictable their game has got. They put their middle blocker to two to stop Pankaj. They could have gone to Ibn, they could have gone to the middle. The torpedoes have called for a timeout. Sandoval is pumped up. He knows the value of this point. He knows what it can mean, not just for the Calicut heroes, but for the Blackhawk side of the bath as well. Here's why. If Calicut win tonight, they qualify. Bangalore get knocked out. If Bangalore win 5-0 or 4-1, they qualify. Hyderabad get knocked out. However, if they win 3-2, Calicut qualify and then it will all depend on the Mumbai coach again. It's very simple. It may seem complicated. Hyderabad just want Calicut to win. They do not want a ba Bangalore win. A Bangalore win correction. Where is it going? Who wants to hazard a guess? Hey, there we go. A point to Calicut. Is this going to be the moment? Not yet, or is it? No, not yet, says Bobby. There it is! Calicut win the third set! The Red Army is pumped up! It's 2-1! This is not over yet! Not for Calicut, not for Hyderabad! Such is the drama on offer at the Rupe Prime Volleyball League, powered by A23. This kind of drama is unreal and you've got it every night at this league. The Regional Sports Complex in Kochi is seeing an unbelievable encounter between these two special sides. Well, it's no surprise now that Sandoval chose that side when he had the coin toss, he pointed to his side, and that is exactly why. So he could run over and do that. That is the spirit of this team, the spirit of Sandoval. Well, we haven't seen that Sandoval for a few games, but now he's firing. Watch out. Can they come back and win it in five? We're going for a very quick break. We'll see you in a minute. Well, a warm welcome back to the Rupe Prime Volleyball League where it's time for some match stats. The big news is that the Calicut heroes from nowhere have brought it back to 2-1. More successful spikes, more blocks, also more unforced errors. My word, what a game and journey we are going on because so much riding on this, not just for these two teams. For more stats, exclusive stats, find you of the Rupe Prime Volleyball League. Go to www.volleyballworld.com. Yeah, good fight there by Bengaluru. And it looked for me like things kind of changed after that block touch that we were talking about discussing for minutes. But you can never let your guard down. You can never turn it off. Every single point is so relevant. When it was a, a game of inches after that decision that went against them, so to speak. They got a little bit defensive in the first touch. And a bit predictable out to position four, so much that Sandoval went and stood there to make a block. But next set's underway, kind of the heroes out the back this time. And you can see D. Lee on the side, giving as much as of, to, of his energy even to his team in the early stages. And rightfully so, these first blows will be crucial to this time. And interestingly, we may have another review immediately before there's even a point on the board. Bengaluru. We're given the point. Alicut think there was a touch. It's early days to call a review, but again, this could be make or break for this set. Well, D Lee's lost his review due to that decision in the last set. Will we lose another one? There's no touch on that one for me there. Abaluch has got the start 
in this set. Ashwin sure did it with the Russian defender. I don't think so. On the way through. Okay. Well, now... Uh, yeah, I don't see a touch either. I think that's well and truly out. I think they're going to lose this review, and they've already started lining up in their reception. I think they know it as well. Well, both teams have now lost their review, so watch out for a few referee reviews. They might be on the way. And thank goodness. Yep. Review unsuccessful, unlucky for Calicut. But I like that the refs can take reviews in this league. You need to have that kind of, those checks and balances. Not everyone can everything all of the time give the right team well little things that add up and this man has one of the best serves in the league this stadium is bouncing it's a huge serve Avaluch caught in two minds there potentially should have kept that on his own side but talk about being caught in two minds Ukra Sandoval well they were a great relationship but it's just been compromised Two bits of maybe pressure from both parties on this occasion. Yeah, you don't see the misfire between Ukra and Sandoval very often. Or at least I should say you didn't in the first half of this league. Recently, they haven't really been reading each other's mind quite as much as they used to. Uh, I, th I thought he lost his shape there, say, to try to hit it too hard. You can see that in the replay. Not a high ball toss. Perhaps uh, the ball going a bit too much to his left. 2-1 to Bengaluru. Uh, serves it. Got set. Sandoval, a bit of a tip-tap toe. Kind of rally this, and easy pickings for Ashwin. Right place, right time. Blocking an apple. Nicely done from zone two. I just think in those sorts of circumstances, Aviniak will be disappointed he didn't get on that. It's a brush from a tight spot. When it is that tight, you've got to step up. I think he's starting too high there, Key. Getting beat and low. Yeah, I'm also questioning where the middle was in that situation. Alireza with another fantastic swing. He's the top scorer right now for Bengaluru, putting his 10th point on the board. I know he is a great player. He's played in Iran, was the MVP of his league last year. And that's what he should show. That's what he can do. And we've been looking forward to seeing this all season. It's interesting because at the back end of the previous set, even didn't get set in those clutch times. And you need your right sider in the game in those moments. And talk about clutch, well, it's Ashman on the right. I think that time boggles one uh, through the customs of Bengaluru. I think they need to activate Abil Krishnan as well. Abil and Ashwin could be the two aces that can do the job when Juno is not having a great night. But I think we saw this the other evening under pressure, didn't we? With Hyderabad at times, they got too reliant on Guru when the pressure was on. The centers have to have trust in all of their spikers to keep the game plan alive. This time over the top of Jishnu. Lonely. I am so lonely, said Jishnu in front of that three meter line. There was no one else to cover when the ball ricocheted off his hand. And then he followed with, I'm locked up. But let me out. He's locked up at the net. He jumps too early, commits. And in turn, now look at this. Just a few scrappy plays creeping in here. Beautifully done by Jerome. This time he gets it right. He's popped up. Is that the start of his revival in this match? Yet Jerome needs to take off. Sapir loved it. Noted Kishore Kumar. I've talked about it earlier on in this stage, in this game. When he gets the eyes, look in Jerome's eyes. He's a lot like the opposite Angamutu from Amdabad. When he gets going, there's, it strikes fear in the opposition. Alec has started to do the simple things right, but that's how Bengaluru responds. Nice speed up from Jishnu, enough power on it. Knew exactly what he was doing. Very decisive in his actions there, Jishnu. Perfect, it was tight, so it was a really easy option to use. Jishnu, perfect. I think the serve, the previous serve to the sideline on Pankaj was absolutely sublime to the left-hand side. Just got a little bit safer into the passing unit that time around. What's have a luch got? They have to fight. Kishore Kumar will love it. There was a single called Kishore Kumar in the history of Indian music. One of the songs goes, Ruk jana nahi tu kahi haar ke. Don't, don't expect me to try <laughs> that. The Indian audience has got it. Well, don't, don't expect me to laugh at it. 
रुक जाना नहीं तू कहीं हार के Big contact with shot that. Third out the back, but this is a different caliber at the moment. They're the ones pushing, and in turn, because they're pushing so hard, then the Luri torpedoes are just starting to step back a little bit now. Spedanov is coming in, and he's a bit of a bulldozer. We call him the sniper, but he's going to have to bulldoze the Bengaluru torpedoes way back into this. Ooh, are the wheels coming off? Are, are Bengaluru losing their focus just a wee bit after losing that third set? Now we haven't seen a lot of errors out of Pankaj. Seven service errors apiece. But in general, errors lower on the side. Of Bengaluru. Here comes Svetanov. There goes Svetanov. It is 7-6. They will keep coming hard at Kalikan. That's been Bengaluru's nature tonight. I was about to say they need Svetanov, but they haven't really needed him so far. They need this version of him. When he's hot, he's hot, and he can be a go-to player. He can be a big point scorer. I've seen that in spurts today. I think more of it needs to come. Yes, yeah, that's because he's, he's sort of been uh, sobbed in and out quite often to play to his strengths. His strengths could be hitting out of system. That's a good one. Stays high, goes off the block, and that's getting scrappy from the torpedoes. They're looking for a handover. Bobby has given the handover. That's a big decision in this game because the pass was too tight, and that's what I think Kanaka are arguing now. Now then, both teams have one review left. If they are so sure, go for the review, will you? they want maybe it's too late yes it's too late if they were so confident Kalika they should have gone for the review they didn't decided to put pressure on the first ref it will not work and one of the questions that has to be asked before you challenge is whether or not Ukra is front row or back row does he even have the ability to go up and get that ball oh it wasn't even Ukra it was the middle negotiating what happened there let's take a look so Harsh has gone to grab the ball and he's gotten in the way of the setter of the other side. I, I think that's a, that should be penalised. Hands gone over, touched the hand, almost interfering with play. I think if he touches the ball, it's hook, line and sinker, but he, he, he doesn't that time. Just outside, or was it all on the line? Ooh, luck of the draw going Calicut's way. These are nervous calls for everybody now then. Bengaluru have a review left, they've decided to go for it. Only one review left for Bengaluru. Could they have gone for it now? Yes, no? Tough call, because there's still a lot of volleyball left to play, but we saw how that shift in the last review really changed the set in that third set. Uh, it's going to be called in, yep. Just kiss the line, I think. Life for Calicut. Just kiss the line, that's what I think, but then we've been proven wrong many times. So. I don't know about proven wrong, but we've been decided that we've been wrong. We've been overruled, let's just call it that. Brushed aside more like overweight you commentators. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what we think, but we'll just tell you our opinion anyway. For me, that falls in. And it's really easy from the commentary box. Let's not ever uh, miss, yeah, misjudge that one. But for me, that is in from the commentary box. But I think the referees might need another couple of looks at it because it's such a crucial game. If only that white line had eyes on it. That's a good enough angle for me to take a call. Either way, in or out. I think they just want to drag it out. They want us to get really, really enthusiastic about it. They want everyone in this crowd for their hearts to drop or swim after this decision. Tense building up. You can hear everyone's heartbeats. David Lee's looking nervous as well. <laughs> David Lee reckons it's out. Review unsuccessful. David Lee cannot believe it. Cannot believe it. Pleading. Pankaj Sharma now gets into it as, as well. Talk to Dan and he. Well, I think that one was in, and they were calm on the one that was a touch in the previous set. And this is where they have to be uh, careful. 
The good news is they need a bit of a break. We're going to an all cool technical timeout. So it's time for us to all have a break as well. We'll see you after the break. Here at the Rupe Prime Volleyball League, you can see Tuhin's reaction as the Bengaluru Torpedoes are now trailing by one point to Calicut here in the fourth. This is a huge match, a huge set, and we've told you so many times why, but if you need a reminder, one of these teams is going to the semi-final. And if you were Hyderabad, Blackhawks, or Mumbai Meteors, moments ago, you would have been packing your bags. All of a sudden, everything changes, and everyone still has a big chance. We're on the way after a big uh, falling out due to a decision, and really, Bengaluru have to keep their calm, Keep their mind focused on little processes like processes, sorry, like staying aggressive or staying smooth and staying disciplined as opposed to getting involved in all the things they can't quite control. Kevin's been guilty of hitting it out, serving it out in the past. I'm sure he continues to enjoy the support of that man, David Lee, the coach. There comes Ibn. Try to get Bengaluru into the lead. Great serve! Was that from outside the antenna? No. It continues. Bengaluru, try again through Svetanov! Ooh, past the, the triple block. Hands outside. David Lee cannot believe it. He reckons that ball went from outside the antenna after that pass. That's what he's pointing at. Take a look at that uh, red and white antenna. Oh, well, we're going to get the replay of Svetanov's swing. Out of bounds, first and foremost. But the question right now that David is asking of the referee, when Ukro ran onto the other side of the court, did that ball go inside the antenna or outside? Because it has to go the same way. This is unbelievable. Every point, he's got his cheese out for me, handing out the yellows. Here it is. It went inside the antenna, then it comes back outside. Out outside. So that is the correct ball by David Lee. But the drama that this is all bringing us right now, I don't know why they're complaining. Look, got to say, in the end, justice was done. The right call has been made. Yeah. Despite all the drama and the noise. Correct. Oh, hang yeah. on a sec. Kishore Kumar wants to have another look at it. Just proof of the pudding is in the eating. So let's serve that pudding to them via the, the action replay for the TV ref. Calicut want to review it. I suspect it's going to cost them. Should Calicut have reviewed it? I don't think so. If they've chosen to review this, that's a wasted review. We know how valuable I think, I think, it's, a, I think it's a referee review. All right. I, I Rightfully think, I think, so. I think. Bobby knows his role as head referee is to give the opportunity for the challenge review referees to have a second look. Calicut want to review a review. And uh, if you're watching volleyball for the very first time, <laughs> it's always this dramatic, I promise. <laughs> it isn't. So have a look again. We'll explain it one more time. The ball goes inside the antenna, gets touched by Ukra. All fine, but it goes back outside the antenna. That's the fault right there. It has to come back inside the antenna if it wants to be in play. I think this is a bit of a brain fade moment from the Calicut heroes. And they have they may have made that mistake. Kishore Kumar, I don't think he's seen the replay. So where he was looking when the ball went I, there. I don't know what the problem is here for Kishore Kumar because his team should lose this point. And in any other form of volleyball, the coach isn't allowed out of a designated area. So the fact that he's <laughs> gone all the way over there in any other league, it just wouldn't be allowed. Either way, it looks we like it. Uh, it went from outside the antenna, even that shot. Yeah, that's outside the antenna, but the first ball from the passer to when Ukra touched it went inside the antenna. You can tell by the angle, just do the, the, the physics of it. It can't possibly have gone outside the antenna unless it curved. Yeah, here we go, this is what we need. There we go, right there. But it's this. No, 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 no. no this then. one. No, this one. Inside. Inside. It's it's a Bengaluru point all it day. It has to go back inside between those two antennas. But instead, after the touch, 
It goes no. outside. Yeah, that one, right? That's exactly right. I hope we understood. I hope everyone understood what we we're trying to explain. Yes, ma'am. It is a little bit confusing. Professor Key Michael has simplified <laughs> it for us. But uh, does the TV ref agree with uh, Key Michael's submission there? Well, <laughs> it's pretty. It's wow. Been a, a couple of reviews already that have. I have a feeling that this is going. The longer this goes on, the longer this is going to go Calicut's way. This cannot ca carry on for too much longer, can it? Surely. I wonder if Bobby's listening to us in the air. It's gone inside and then back on the outside of the antenna. Right then, so I've just been told there, is in there isn't enough conclusive evidence. Therefore, the first referee's decision stays. You need conclusive evidence to overturn the first referee's decision. Is that simple? Sandoval is, is in utter disbelief. But Alicut have no reviews left. Kishore Kumar can't believe it. Sandoval could go to the Supreme Court and it won't help. He could go to the International Court and it won't help. He cannot believe it. Calicut believe they've been robbed the point. They haven't. They come. They haven't. <laughs> they, they, they haven't. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. I agree. I, I think justice was done. The right call was made. How do they respond is the question. They know that they have to fight. It might just oh. fire them up, but it also might give the torpedoes what they've needed, which is a little bit of an aggressive spark over the last 10 minutes or so. Ball fires to the outside. Big swing. Heroes. Well, shot in the arm from Ashwin there. If you can play like that, why waste time challenging a decision that's already been, already been nailed? Yeah, I think that's the correct response by Calicut. Obviously, a lot of fluttering hearts out there. This is big moment. But to play calm and cool under pressure is what's going to win you a championship, whichever side you're playing for. Talking about being calm and cool, Bobby on the stand is under immense pressure <laughs> at the moment. And he is uh, as cool as they come. I think he's having a smashing game. Yeah, me too. Not put a foot wrong in this match, so credit when it's due for the first referee. Ian shoots, Colin Bobby, Bob the Builder, nine apiece in this fourth set. Make that 10-9 in favor of the Bengaluru Torpedoes. Yeah, was he trying to serve that? Well, we talk yes. a lot about okay. the ball. I think he was trying to serve it in, let's, let's be honest, but that ball is really, really tough for these players to get a good contact on. It sometimes just flies out the back, and I think that's just going to happen over and over and over. There too. He's coming back to serve. There's a change as Hush comes back in. And we know what Setu has in his armory. He has probably one of the best serves in the league. And at key times, he has stepped up in this competition and delivered from the baseline. Is this his moment again? He goes full tilt. It's a great serve. Rocks the heroes out of system. Three blockers, and it's gone straight down. It's very close, but it's blocked out. Avaluch is uh, trying to query it, but it's blocked out of Avaluch. And I don't think David Lee has a problem with that one. The angle of the arms of Avaluch look like it dragged the ball out. Now we'd have to see where the ball landed, but I think they're moving on already. Big serve. Ukra underneath it. Ball outside to Jerome, who does the exact same thing off the hands of the Bengaluru block and out of bounds. Great serving. The pass was in from the torpedoes. Again, they're getting a little bit uh, too comfortable going to the outside, but Jerome solid because that's what the big guns do in the big moments. Ukra's service run here, perfect. They go to the middle, Jinshu stopped, oh sorry, Mujib stopped by Sandoval. Abalut stopped by Sandoval. He's been quiet the last two matches for the heroes, but you can't keep him quiet for too long. The whole of Hyderabad is cheering for that man. The number seven, Sandoval. Hyderabad's fate is in the hands of the Caligar heroes. That's how fiercely competitive this league has been, Pankaj. 
Ukra keeps it in play, shows his experience. There comes Jerome, still in play, they make a mess of it. Can he can believe the wave is going to see them through in this fourth set. They want to take this through to the fifth set. Sapir loves it. The Red Army is up on its feet. The wave called Jerome, the tsunami that is Jerome. Everything he is touching is turning to gold. They can't put the ball away, the torpedoes, at this moment in time. Animated once more, second referees in the game. Hank Kadra, I think, is looking for a net touch or somebody going under. And have a look at that. This is why this league is so unbelievable, entertaining. There's the fantasy leaderboard. I'm going to have a breath. Well, a couple of players from Ahmedabad, no surprise there. A couple of Kolkata players and Sandoval right there in the number four spot. He has been fantastic throughout this season. We've loved watching him. He's had some ups and downs. Looked a little rough last time out on court, but one of the best blockers and certainly top scorers for this team. He's at nine points right now, right behind Jerome with 15. Of course, if you are enjoying these moments, you can own your own favorite moment of the match by buying an NFT at treasureclub.io. Louis, I have a proposition for you. Oh, on air? Would you mind uh, playing United Nations between Sandoval and Bian Schultz tonight at dinner? Yeah, or on that I mean, you'll always, you'll always find me at dinner, so I may as well do it. Bengaluru have called for a super point. They trail by three. Calicut need two points. So then this is potentially set point. Wouldn't Hyderabad love it if Cali could win this? There we go. Oh, they keep it in play. Just enough. Jerome, Sandoval, Okra, Jerome. It goes out. Hyderabad stay alive. Just about. But now they do. It's two sets apiece. This match is going to the fifth and the final decider. Where did Bengaluru go wrong? I have no idea. What a heart-wrenching play. That defense in the back, huge. Jerome then having two opportunities. Great cover by Sandoval. And then again, the one-on-one, -on -one and it goes. And look at him into the stands immediately. Well, the high rotation policy worked for Dealey for the first two sets. What will happen in set five? You have to come back after the break. Well, the drama continues here in Kochi as the Kalika heroes from 2-0 down have pulled it back to 2-2. They've been more aggressive in the spiking department. They've been better in the blocking department. And you can find all the stats of the Rupe Prime Volleyball League on www.volleyballworld.com. That are the yeah. points that Bengaluru scored well, for arguing with Bian Schultz. Your ability, your skill, your execution, finishing skills. He, Michael, do you agree? Well, that's not going to be on Volleyball but volleyballworld.com. <laughs> but what you will see, Jerome with five points, Ashman with four, and Sandoval with two. So that's a spread heavy offense for Calicut. Bengaluru, no player able to get more than a single point Ali Reza, who was huge in the first couple of sets, has been pretty much invisible in the last two. So if they can get him firing back up again, he's currently the top scorer, but we haven't seen much from him in a while. And you have to say they've got a little bit predictable going to Pankaj. Pankaj has been stopped a lot. He's not made many errors. He's been brilliant, actually. But they're just lacking somebody to score in a bit more of a regular occurrence. Can they start well here? It's a great start through Setsu, but it's a great dig in the seams. They're looking organized here and up for it. We feel that Bengaluru torpedoes need a good start and Setu might not be the biggest, but boy oh boy, isn't he aggressive? I'll give you a piece of news after we take a look at that replay. That arrow, smashing arrow down the line, gives Bengaluru the first point of this big set. However, courtesy of that second set win from Calicut, they have qualified for the semi-finals. So then, three spots taken. Endabar qualify, Kolkata qualify, Calicut qualify. One more spot left. Whose will it be? Bengaluru, Hyderabad, or Kolkata? And Setu passes the ball the wrong side of the antenna. 
And this is where you have to feel because Setri's done a great job. He's in there to pass instead of setting off. And they can't afford his pass to go. But it's okay, it's early doors. There's a lot of volleyball left in this. Patience will be key. In case you're wondering, what happened if Cali could win this match 3-2? I'll tell you what happened after this point. Jerome! Ooh, what a spike. Keep it in play. The renewed sense of belief in the Calicut camp. Here comes Sandoval. No, it's Jerome! The Calicut heroes are now playing like they are known to play in red hot form. If Calicut win this match, Bengaluru will get knocked out. And then that only spot left will be between Hyderabad and Mumbai. Well, the way that Calicut have started this set shows that they are ready to take that spot from anyone. I love that they have won themselves a position, but it's Jerome who's been leading the ship 18 points so far. How are they going to stop him? How on earth is Bengaluru going to slow him down? I think we know that they go for their serves, Bengaluru, like no other team at times, and they have to trust that process to get the teams out of system and subdue them. But, oh, they need to be cleaner than that. And this is pressure in sport. Setu's pass, Avalucci's touch. They've had a two-set lead that's been squandered and it's getting a little bit too much at times. Yeah, I wonder what's going through Ali's head there as he tries to get under that ball. He just needed to put up a hittable ball, but again, getting lost in the lights or something, but pressure, too much. Guys, it's been such a tease. Such a tease it's been, not for the faint-hearted. Somehow, Bengaluru managed to win another point to make it 4-3 in the fifth set. I love that from Pankaj. He goes back to the line and works off the block. I think he got a little bit too into just trying to can an angle as hard as he could in the last set and getting dogged. Now he's starting to get a little bit more creative. That will give them half a chance. Ali Reza Avaluch with the serve, controlled, not big. That's a change. But they come once again. Was there a touch? Oh, yes, there was. Another big swing down the line from Calicut. They've been really hammering that line in the last few points. I wonder if David Lee will move that block a little bit more down the line and cut it off. And the comes Pankaj once again. Oh, lovely. You can use your hands, your feet, whatever you like. It won't work. Very smartly done by the captain. You need cool heads to prevail in a setting like this, in a mood like this. This feel again is not quite clean. It's a good aggressive pass. That's something that they fixed from the previous two sets that they've lost. Getting the ball into aggressive zones, but they have to be confident in their touch the whole way through this. Aggressive. Go for it. They can't be climbing up. God, this is such so much in the mind, isn't it? Which team has a little more belief? And once again, Jerome! Still in play. Oh, it isn't anymore. That rocket of a spike. Bom Jerome did the job. He has been unleashed. Yeah, I think there's one player that has belief, like you said, Manish, it's that guy right there. He is going 100% every single time, whether it's line, whether it's cross, whether it's over the block. He doesn't care, he's just finding a way to score. It's unbelievable swing, isn't it? Coming in on an angle and ripping the line that well. Better not, no touch off the block. It was there, no, there wasn't. Try again, Svetlov's not found his uh, spike rhythm tonight. Something's off about him tonight. Yeah, last couple of games, we've seen it before, haven't we? He tries to hit the ball too hard. If you had a look at Jerome's swing before, he's smooth, he's calm, he's accurate with his swing. And Svetlov is just trying to hammer it as hard as he can. Hashtag position. Take to Mujib. There comes the set. Once again, Mujib. Oh, sorry, it's Ibn. In fact, Muji was the one who got the first touch. Ibn with that spike that may have landed outside, but there was a touch off the block that gave Bengaluru a point. Just enough. Just enough. And that's what's been... They've been missing that a couple of times, going for that really high swing. This time, get lucky with the touch. I also think they haven't set Ibn for a long, old time. Oh! If you can't spike, you can block for sure. Thank you, Mr. Svetlin Svetanov, the Bulgarian sniper. 
is the Bulgarian wall as well. That's a big one. You get one on Jerome now, you try and quiet him, quieten him before the end of the set, you never know if you have a chance. That is on, the, on Mike's edge. Scores level, a super serve. I so in fact, Bengaluru will go into the lead. Was there a touch? I think, yeah, there was. And so, scores level, not a super serve, sorry. Still an ace though, and a huge ace at this moment, causing some commotion on the floor. I like that there are two bodies from Caligan on the floor to keep it alive, but still, very big swing at this moment. I like this chaos. Ukra sets it. Not a great spike, not much there. By Shark Boss, went and off! This time he gets it! How quickly he learned! That is a hammer and a half! He came with the full pounding! Bengaluru in the lead now! Time for an Amul Cool technical timeout. Calm down, everyone. Calm down. Are you not entertained? Bengaluru from two sets up. Now at 2 2. And 8 7 to the good in the final set. It's a game of momentum, this one. And really, Bengaluru have to work on holding their nerve. Somebody who's maybe going underappreciated at the moment is Mujib. And this one of serves as the block does its job and the error comes from the outside. Ooh, a lot of pressure, a lot of heat here. Haven't even seen our first super point yet. Oh, defense. touch on the way through uh, from the blockers from Bengaluru. So it's first point for a while for the heroes. I think they're pleading innocent. And if Lee Lee hasn't got a review, to my knowledge, or has he got one? Net touch on the way through from Eben, if you ask me, with the right hand. Great decision. Delicate, because they won the two sets here. Regardless of whether they win this match or not, they have qualified for the semi-finals. Here comes Bennett off! Oh! Just, it, oh, just out! How close was that? Svetlov can't believe it. I thought the trajectory was just right, and to me it looked in on real time, but it doesn't matter. No reviews left. Wild, because he didn't have a block. Nobody jumped. They all came off and let him have a rip. Oh, we got to see that slow. You've got to show us in slow. That's a great decision from the heroes to stay down because he would always go for the hands there, standing off, and they gave him no hands. What a touch. Ukra equal to it. Free ball. Where does this go? Does it go Svenenov? Even. It goes Svenenov off the hands. What a touch. My word. Bravo with a brilliant touch of Libero. Third chance. Svenenov off the hands of Ukra. Try and try till you succeed. Svetlanov did not give up, but to me, regardless of who wins, who won this point, got to give credit to that man, that is a matrix move, a superman move from the Calican Libro. A lot of fearlessness in Svetlanov there going up against Ukra, especially had he pulled his hands away the last one. Oh, oh no even! <laughs> Super serve, even! Superman, super serve, super moment! That is magical from the Torpedoes! Just in the nick of time, even has won David Lee's heart. And when the Torpedoes needed something from their opposite spiker, straight through the seam, impossible! And maybe now the Torpedoes will be in the final four, or is there another twist to this twill? You know we're not done yet. There is so much more volleyball to play. There's only three points, but so much can happen. We have seen it before with super points and super serves. This league is full of twists and turns. Oh man. Okay, I don't I don't care who you're supporting. This is one of the best matches of the league so far. Well, there's uh, how it stands. If Canada could win, they qualify. They've already won two sets. But the Torpedoes would bow out. They need a 4-1 to qualify the Torpedoes. They haven't got that. But if a 3-2 Calicut qualify, but this means Hyderabad around, and it then rests on Mumbai. If Bangalore win, Hyderabad get knocked out. Simple. Calicut have already qualified. And so it means we get our four semi-finalists. Aggressive intention 
is only after the time. Mumbai Kochi game. Absolutely, and they would need to win that, I think, comprehensively. 5-0. 5-0, there you go. Mumbai has to win 5-0 to make it through, so that's another twist. I don't think we have the budget for any more twists tonight, really. This has been... Oh, oh, this is unbelievable! Step up even! Big serving! Muji before that! Bengaluru's aggressive serving is coming good under pressure when they need it. They haven't had it the whole way through this event, but they've got it now. 13-9. The triple block is trying to look for that final nail in Hyderabad's coffin. Now then, Calicut going all in. They're trying to do this for Hyderabad, are they? This is potentially match point for the Bengaluru Torpedoes. If they win this next point, it will be goodbye Hyderabad. Here we go then. Could this be the moment? Oh. <laughs> not yet. 13-11. This match is not for the faint-hearted. Louis, I, have you taken your pills? Not, no more than normal. <laughs> <laughs> but you've got to give credit for uh, going full tilt on the super point at this moment, haven't you? And it's something you've been talking about all season long. They've been going for it and they've been just missing, just those errors creeping up. But this time they've been hitting them. Those errors have been converted to points and that's why they find themselves in this situation. You know, hats off to Bengals for just going for it in that moment. Oh. Oh. Error, 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 error. Scores level, is it? Yeah, 13 apiece. That's still waiting, no? Hang on. Well, that one is tight. Now, there's something going on course side. It's a net touch against the Vignac. David Lee has just turned around to Setu and said, are you ready? And Setu sort of looked at him and gone, yes, I'm ready. Setu's coming for Svedanov just to pass. These are huge moments, and D. Lee had to deal with that situation very well. It was coming. Here's their chance. Boom! The block! What? Can you believe it? Scores level now! Oh, this is unreal! Who writes these scripts? This is unscripted drama at its absolute best. One on one. And that man has been blocked well, that Ashwin. It's, it's nerves, the set's a bit tight for Setu there for me, and he gets absolutely stuck. Well, drama, drama, drama. 13 all, this set must be on the edge of his seat. He's not even sitting down anymore to him. Well, I think that was a good substitution by D. Lee. He had to make a change. He knows they're going to target Svetnov to at least make that change, but maybe the set wasn't, shouldn't have gone to him, could have gone to the outside, but Again, these are all things you think about in retrospect. Could it be genius or could it be a big I, mistake? We'll I, find out. I think it was a good set. I just think it was the execution. He had a one-on-one, -on -one, he had an avenue, but I just think he was a little bit too low and tight. Set too small, bring him off a little bit in that situation. Go for it again, tip. That's picked up. Nobody there, so a point goes the way of Bengaluru. Match point. That is match point for Bengaluru. And now this next point could seal Hyderabad's fate. They could get knocked out. Do not forget that equation. That's a parallel story that's been running right from the word go in this match. So, so clever. First of all, the set, him again. And second of all, the tip on the middle who just served. Hey, Tutu, sir. The super servers here. Match point for Bengaluru. Chance now. Okra sets it. Jerome comes in. <laughs> I have no words left. Well, this is the second time where we've seen two teams level on 14 points each. The last time it happened was when uh, Ahmedabad played Kochi. So then, this is match point for both teams. Once again, reminder for you. If Bangalore win this, Hyderabad are out. Match point for both teams. Oh! It is Bangalore! Hyderabad have been knocked out! Bangalore stay alive! This is the stuff of dreams! They have managed to steal this victory from the jaws of defeat. Calicut have been stunned. They won the first two sets. 
They opened the door for Calica to come back. Lost the third and the fourth set. In the fifth and final, they hold their nerve, take home and snatch it away. And they've said goodbye to Hyderabad with this point. Ali Ruza Abalush, the man that shuts the door on the Blackhawks Hyderabad. The Bengaluru Torpedoes stay alive. These are the games that they will tell their grandchildren about. They'll remember them forever. So much drama. Before we hear from the teams, we have a look at the score. We take a quick break. We'll see you very soon.